Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. All of the pieces that go to make up my survival rocket heater have been fabricated and they're over in the barn. I wanna show you each piece and how they all fit together. These are the individual pieces that make up my survival rocket heater. The stabilizer plates for the legs, quarter inch steel. The legs are one and a half inch square steel tube. The base plate is quarter inch steel, 20 inch square. This is the firebox. It's five inch square by one quarter inch wall with a 45 degree cut on one end. The riser, five inch square, quarter inch wall. Those two pieces are welded together dead center inside the housing. This is the fuel feeder tube with the same five inch square steel tube. It's cut 25 degrees off of 90 on both ends. This is the housing. We're using 1 8 inch rolled steel. We can also use 10 gauge steel pipe. Either works. The last piece is the cap for the housing. It's quarter inch steel plate, 16 inch diameter. Why didn't I use that water pressure tank or a propane tank? Because I don't know the composition and uniformity of that metal. That could cause problems with the welds and lead to a failure, so I used high quality carbon steel. That's my parts list. Now what's going to happen is these parts will be welded together to make my survival rocket heater. All of that will be shown in part two of this video. As soon as it's done, I'll post it on 8weeksand2days.com. Here we go, a fully disassembled survival rocket heater ready to be shipped anywhere in the U.S. Check back to see part two of this video. That part will show the detailed assembly of my survival rocket heater. Thanks for tuning in to 8 Weeks and 2 Days Survival. Stay prepared.